So this question says the fixed costs of manufacturing basketballs in a factory are $1,400 per day. I'm just going to write that down. So $1,400 per day equals manufacture b-balls. And this is fixed, right, as opposed to a variable cost. The variable costs are $5.25 per basketball. So we add to that $5.25 per basketball, so per b-ball. Which of the following expressions can be used to model the cost of manufacturing b basketballs in one day? Well, because we know it's one day, they're going to definitely pay $1,400 because that's a fixed cost per day, right? So that's what we're going to get. And then on top of that, we know that each basketball is $5.25, but we don't know how many basketballs they're going to produce. We have a variable that represents the number of basketballs that are going to be manufactured. That variable is B, so I multiply 5.25 or $5.25 times B, and that's it, right? That like This would be the cost. So where do I see that in my answer choices? It looks like it is choice K. If you ever, if you weren't sure of this, you can always do something that I, that I say make it real, right? So let's say you own this manufacturing plant. You want to create 10 basketballs. How much will it cost you for that day? You'd say, okay, I know I'm going to pay $1,400. I know I'm going to pay $5.25 times the 10 basketballs, and therefore I know I'm going to pay a total of $52.50 for those 10 basketballs. So I'm going to pay $1,400 plus $52.50 for this one day, which means I should have a total all in cost of $1,452.50. And in essence, what you've done is you've plugged in your own number for B, Right. So then what you do is you go back up to the answer choices, you plug in B equals 10 and you find which one of those answers gives you the expected value that you got.